Welcome everyone. Today we're going to go back 2,000 years to explore an ancient site in southern Ohio. We are going to discover a 13-acre rectangular ring that has 23 earthen mounds inside of it. What was it used for and by who? Welcome to the Mound City Group. Nestled next to the Scioto River, we find Mound City. Built by the indigenous culture Hopewell between 200 BC and 500 AD. But what was it used for? Well, it wasn't used to live in. It wasn't used for commerce or for trade, even though the Hopewell were very widely known for their connection to trade. No, this site was used to bury their dead. In fact, the Hopewell at this point would have actually been quite displaced, living out in separated smaller communities on the outskirts of something such as this. So why did they build this? Well, it is believed that within the village surrogate model, there is an idea that when people are displaced, they will come together and they will build something like this so that they have a sense of purpose, a sense of community, they build something together, and also when they bury their dead in this location, they have more of a claim to the land because they're able to say, my ancestors are buried here. Now, when you actually take a look at the site itself, you can notice that various mounds are kind of separated. Some are smaller, some are larger. Why was this? Well, researchers aren't entirely sure at this point, but it is believed that there was a sense of hierarchy within the Hopewell culture. So geneticists have recently come in and done some genetic testing on some of the remains found in some of the larger mounds. And it is believed that at this point, there is no actual DNA connection between the people that are buried here. Mitochondrial DNA has actually indicated there is no genetic components. That doesn't mean that there isn't a patrilineal component and that doesn't mean that there isn't a component based on merit or individual hierarchy within the community and culture. But to walk amongst these mounds is to know that there was obviously some significance for the Hopewell people for this site. And it's a very interesting culture to learn about and one worth studying. Thank you.